Hi, welcome to the Commons. My name is Steve Angrisano. And my name is Tom Booth. We are honored to share our song, I Am the Bread of Life. We hope you enjoy it. shepherd's mind I am the truth and light I am the way in life I am who I am and I am for you come and follow me I am bread for the world hope for the And know that I'll always be there With my arms open wide I am who I am and I am for you Come and follow me I am the bread I am life. bread for the world I am the hope in night Hope for the I am the door wide open. Come to me and I am the shepherd's mind. I am the truth and light. With my eyes, I am the way and life. I am who I am, and I am for you. Come and follow me. I give my heart to those in sorrow. Come to those who are in need Hope for today and for tomorrow Light for all who want to see I am the bread I am bread for the I am the hope and night. Hope for the hope. I am the door wide open. Come to me and I am the shepherd's mind. I am the truth and light. With my eyes, I am the way and light. I am who I am and I am for you. Come and follow me. I am who I am and I am for you. Follow me. The beautiful scripture verse from the Gospel of St. John, I am the bread of life, is really the core tenet of our faith as Christians, as Catholics, that God is with us. And of course, God is with us in so many ways. But the promise of, of that Eucharist, that communion, that bread and wine becoming the soul and divinity of Jesus Christ is just powerful, amazing. It's something we trace back historically to you know the Lord's Supper, to Holy Thursday, the first Eucharist. It really inspired Steve and I to write the song. There's also a line, a lyric in the song, I am the door wide open. And I love that invitation from the Lord to you, to me, that walk through that door, walk through the door that is Christ into a life of, of meaning, of purpose, of joy, and of challenge. But these scriptures, these truths really helped inspire Steve and I to compose I Am the Bread of Life. Well said, Tom. And, you know, an, a line that really moves me in the song, I think because of the experience I had recording it, is the last line of the bridge, uh, light for all who want to see. And, you know, the, the original word I was singing in the studio was light for all who long to see. And 
I just thought it has alliteration and it sounds pretty, you know, light for all who long to see. And as we were recording it, and, and Stephen Lywicki, a great man, faithful man, our producer on this song said, I just, I'm having trouble feeling your motivation there. Like, what are you, what, what are you trying to sing? What are you trying to say? And, and, you know, I think people underestimate how much detail we place on every word and syllable sometimes. And I just, I just opened the very same version of the Bible that we read at mass where, uh, Jesus is preaching and this man is yelling, causing a disturbance, this blind man, they're telling him to be quiet. And finally, Jesus goes over to him and says, what do you want from me? And the man says, Lord, I want to see. I find that exchange so powerful because, of course, Jesus knows what he wants. And when the man says, I want to see, I thought, we're going to sing it like that. That's the way I want to sing it. Not like poetry, oh, I longeth to see, but Lord, I want to see. Jesus offered, what do you want? And he answered, you know, this is what I want, Lord. I love that story, Steve, that in the studio you were praying and thinking about the gospel, of course you were, right? That's the idea of the song. And I remember in college, uh, a wonderful Dominican sister, Sister Ursula. You know, I was going through some stuff as most college kids are, right? And she asked me the same question, what do you want? And I said, I want peace. And God offers us peace. Sometimes we have to work at it for a long time, but that, I think the heart of this song is that hunger for God, the hunger for peace, the hunger for sight. And, and um, the church, prayer, our Lord gives us that, gives us those gifts. So at my parish, at the Newman Center at U of A uh, in, in Tucson, the young people and, and others, you know, we, we work with all, all ages. And we've done this song in many ways. We've done it as a choir, you know, the two parts, and we've done it as a duet when we were first learning it. Uh, and sometimes we've done it, you know, myself or someone else by themselves singing both parts at separate times. But uh, I really do love the song. It has quote unquote worked at our parish. And worked means the people of God have prayed it, have owned it, and have, in a sense, meditated on that scripture, I am the bread of life. Yes, as Tom is saying, there's more than one way to do the song. None of them are right or wrong. The right way to do the song is the way that your congregation can sing it best. So allow them to pray the song. That's the goal, and we hope you enjoy it. 